No matter if you have Irish heritage or not, everyone seems to enjoy celebrating St. Patrick's Day. And we can't think of a better way to enjoy the day than starting it with some St. Patty humor. But I can't figure out why there has to be a green leprechaun sitting on the desk. Why can't he go outside and relax on his patio or maybe take a walk? His name is Shammy and he used to take walks, but once he tried to cross the street before the light turned green and almost got hit by a car, so he hates walking. Maybe he should start eating Lucky Charms, maybe, maybe I heard they were good for increasing awareness and alertness. Good point, and when he lived in Ireland, he tried carrying the snakes off the island, but almost got hit by a car there too, so he decided to drive the snakes out instead. He looks too old to drive. How old is he anyway? He's so old that he can remember when rainbows were black and white and I overheard him telling someone on St. Patrick's Day he will show off his musical skills by playing his bragpipes. But what if he's a nice person and not just a long-term BNB? Do you think we should take him out to dinner and a movie? I guess we could, but what if he order Irish potatoes and they only have french fries and he wants to see that new movie starring Dwayne, the Shamrock Johnson? I don't think food preference will be a problem, he said he used to be a short order cook. So let's do it, he could become a good friend, remember a friend is like a four-leaf clover? They are hard to find. But a fake friend is like crossing poison ivy with a four-leaf clover and that doesn't sound like a rash of good luck. I have a better plan, let's take old man Shammy out the dance. He's too old to dance, I would think the last time he went dancing was when the, the shamrock shake and the froggy hop was popular. I guess he was having a hopping good time. You know what's crazy? What? I used to work with a woman who said she was a leprechaun. Really? That's crazy because according to the book, A History of Irish Fairies, there is no record in Irish folklore of leprechauns having a female counterpart, but go ahead and tell your made-up story. It's not made up. So anyway, she was a good secretary because leprechauns are good at shorthand. But she once borrowed money from me and I told her, Ireland you money if you promise to pay me back. She told me she preferred dollar bills to coins, because they're green. You have a tendency to drag out a story. Is that the end? Nope, there's more. She decided to lend herself some money from the company and skip town. Did they ever arrest her? Yup, she is now a leprechaun. You really are a cornball. Just go make the dinner reservations. So folks that's it for today. Don't forget to have fun. Drink some green beer. Enjoy St. Patrick's Day. Give our video a thumbs up. Subscribe and enjoy your day. The Honeymeaners was recorded live in front of an imaginary studio audience.